Hello, everyone. It is Miss Katie from the Middleton Public Library and in honor of this summer's summer reading program, Tales and Tales, I am here today to tell you about nonfiction picture books. Now, nonfiction books are true books, books that contain facts. Now, friends, I'm going to tell you about this first book, but you might not believe me. I'm going to read to you straight from the cover of this book that is full of facts. You don't have to just take my word for it. You can check this book out and see for yourself if I'm telling the truth or just making things up. Are you ready? The first nonfiction, true, factful picture book I wanna tell you about is Dinosaurs Are Not Extinct. Real Facts About Dinosaurs by Drew Shenneman. A long time ago, planet Earth was full of dinosaurs. Giant dinosaurs that ate plants, meat-eating dinosaurs that walked on two feet, dinosaurs with armored frills, all kinds of dinosaurs, until an asteroid appeared in the sky. A big one, a hot one, a moving very fast one. When it hit, most of the plants and animals on Earth went extinct. It was the end of dinosaurs, or was it? Actually, the latest research shows that not all dinosaurs went extinct. You've probably seen dinosaurs at the park, eaten dinosaurs for dinner, and maybe even cleaned dinosaur poop off of your family's car. Check out Dinosaurs Are Not Extinct to find out what dinosaurs might just have survived that asteroid. Up next is Mission to Space by John Harrington. Are you ready for a real life space adventure? Join Chickasaw astronaut John Harrington for his mission aboard Space Shuttle Endeavor to the International Space Station. Mission to Space includes real pictures that let you follow John through training, a special Chickasaw celebration of the launch, his life on the shuttle, and even a spacewalk. Read this one and get ready to blast off. Little But Fierce by Joan Emerson tells three amazing stories about animals who beat the odds. Vera, a tiny French bulldog born with the cleft palate. Cody, an alpaca born a third of the size of usual alpacas and Caramel, a squirrel who had to have two of his legs amputated. Each of these tiny, strong animals had to overcome huge obstacles in their lives, but were tough enough to make it through anything. Grab this one to read each of their amazing stories. And last but not least, What Do You Do If You Work at the Zoo? by Steve Jenkins and Robin Page. Okay. I know it's probably too soon for you to be thinking about this, and it's summer, so it's the last thing on your mind. But what do you want to do when you grow up? One thing that always comes to mind for me is work at the zoo. How fun would that be? Well, take a look at this book to find out all the cool things you get to do if you work at the zoo. Like shine a tortoise's shell, cuddle a joey, that's a baby kangaroo or even brush a hippo's teeth, yikes. If that all sounds like fun to you, you'll love What Do You Do If You Work at the Zoo? Our summer reading program, Tales and Tales, runs June 4th through August 14th. Visit midlibrary.org for more information or reach out to me, Ka Ganser, at midlibrary.org with any questions. Happy reading, friends.